Hi friends and family, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, bienvenidos, my name is Joanna. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a very simple and classic Vietnamese appetizer known as Jiao Tong. This dish derives from central Vietnam, at least that's what my mother-in-law tells me, so if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment box. I love learning from you guys. Essentially, they are sugarcane shrimp skewers. They're very simple to make, and I'm gonna be walking you guys through the process, as well as leaving the ingredients, measurements, as well as substitutions down in the description box, but before I continue rambling off, let's get started. First, we need to cut some sugarcane into 12 strips. If you can't find fresh sugarcane, most Asian markets will carry canned sugarcane, which is what I'll be using today. First, I'm going to cut one of the sugarcane pieces in half and then cut those pieces in half again so I end up with four strips and repeat this until I have 12 strips total. These sugarcane strips make great skewers because they don't burn easily and you can chew them after for the juice. To a food processor, I'm going to add some shrimp that's been washed, peeled, and deveined. Then I'm going to add some garlic, some fresh shallots, a bit of fish sauce, vegetable oil, mushroom seasoning, ground black pepper, cornstarch, sugar, and then some salt. Cover the food processor and process until you have a smooth, thick shrimp paste that looks something like this. Transfer this to a bowl and place in the refrigerator for 30 minutes so the shrimp paste can marinate. After marinating, coat your hands with a bit of oil and place about a golf ball size of the shrimp paste, about 35 grams or so, in the palm of one of your hands and using the opposite hand, begin to press down firmly until the shrimp paste has flattened to about a quarter of an inch thick. Then place one of the sugarcane strips towards one of the farthest edges and begin folding the shrimp paste around the sugarcane. Use your hands to compress and shape the shrimp paste around the sugarcane until the paste has been distributed evenly, but leaving the ends of the sugarcane bare. Repeat this step until you've run out of shrimp paste. To steam these, I'm going to place a steaming basket over a pot with hot water and begin adding the sugarcane shrimp. Steaming them is going to help set the shape so they don't fall apart later. Cover and steam for 8 minutes over medium heat. Once steamed, these can be stored in the refrigerator for up to three days so you can make these in advance for any event. At this stage, they can either be grilled so they get those nice grill marks or you can fry them like I am today. To some hot vegetable oil over medium flame, I'm going to add a few pieces at a time to fry. One way to test if the oil is hot enough is to place a wooden chopstick or spoon in the oil and if the oil bubbles around it, it's hot enough to fry with. We're only going to let these fry for about a minute or so, making sure to keep an eye on them. They'll start to puff up and turn a very pretty bright golden brown color. Once they're this color on all sides, remove them from the oil and place on a napkin lined plate to absorb the excess oil and they're ready to be enjoyed. We like to serve these at home with some fine rice vermicelli noodles known as ban hoi, which can be found at most Asian markets. Just follow the specific cooking instructions for the brand you're using. For this brand, I have to stack them on top of each other in groups of 10 pieces and cover them with very hot water for about a minute. Then immediately place them in cool water for a few seconds before draining well and serving. I like to fold each rehydrated noodle piece in half and layer them on top of each other like shown here. Along with the bun hoi noodles, you can serve the sugarcane shrimp with some crushed peanuts, scallion oil, lettuce, fresh herbs, pickled carrots and daikon, as well as with a Vietnamese dipping sauce. You can serve these on their own drizzled with some scallion oil or crushed peanuts. These fragrant savory sweet morsels are a classic Vietnamese appetizer and make a great party food. They have an amazing flavor and their spongy soft texture is a delight. Here are my husband's preparing a lettuce wrap with some noodles and a few other garnishes before adding the sugarcane shrimp to the center, making sure to set aside the sugarcane. The sweet sugarcane juice makes for a nice touch at the end of the meal. Just be sure not to eat the pulp. These are so good wrapped in lettuce, noodles, and fresh herbs and then dipped in a savory sweet Vietnamese dipping sauce. I hope this recipe inspires you to try this at home or next time you're visiting a Vietnamese restaurant. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to join our wonderful Fusion family. And for video notifications, don't forget to click the little bell icon that looks something like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Suerte! You have vegetables, see? See? <laughs> Sugarcane shrimp skewers. Say that five times fast. Thank you so much for. Uh, <clears throat> one more time. I'm sweating more than Center in Church right now. Whenever I wear this, I feel like I'm a bat. I'm ready for Halloween. <laughs>